Really embarrassing that you bring your child and let them say something like that? Like really embarrassing you teaching your child racism? Teaching your teaching your children racism? Teaching your children racism? Teaching your child good for you? Bring your baby? Bring your baby to protest? Disgusting! Disgusting! Yo, people. Why am I doing this video? I wanted us to be able to talk about our children going back to school. And when I say our children, obviously, a few weeks ago, we had children involved in this very sad incident in the United Kingdom, where, you know, adults found it very difficult to be able to bring themselves together to do with, you know, everybody who does not look white, everybody who, yeah, according to them, is actually claiming you know, they are work. And um, for that reason, it's really sad to say it wasn't just adults involved. The truth of the matter is there were actually children involved. We want our country back now! Pakistan! Pakistan! Really embarrassing that you bring your child and let them say something like that. Like really embarrassing you teaching your child racism. Teaching your teaching your children racism. Teaching your children racism. Teaching your child good for you. Bring your baby. Bring your baby to protest. Disgusting. 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 And whilst you know we may not have anybody to talk about it, we have to talk about it because it's still our children. And the reason why we have to talk about it is we are having our children going back to school in the next day or two. And we are not hearing anything from the Ministry of Education about how black children, children from, you know, non-white background, are going to be protected from in school. Let's look at it this way. When children are asked on the very first day, how did you spend your summer? Some children will proudly say, yes, I went on holiday. I did this. I did that. From the black children, maybe I can say it for some of my children. Well, I spent it at home because I didn't feel safe. You know, is that meant to be the case? Well, that was the reality. I didn't feel safe because I saw adults in the street making all the threats and actually damaging stuff, including things that actually came to people's doors. And uh, yeah, did it make you feel safe? I don't think so. And does it mean some of these things ever ended? Well, unfortunately, we've got some of these children with our children in the same classrooms. So what do we do? Do teachers possibly reassure us that as parents, when you bring your children to school, your children will be safe? The reality is our children will be sat in classrooms with some children who definitely, you know, went on their bang wang on, believing that everybody who doesn't look white needs to be out of the country. They definitely want to claim, or they're definitely claiming their country back, which is, you know, something where they're doing. But, um, yeah, actually having children to tag along to such experiences, I see it as pathetic, I see it as sad, but these children unfortunately did not know why, sir. Unfortunately, some of these children, would I use the word radicalized? Maybe. Am I right to say that? Well, they've got these opinion views. Um, and if I'm right to say that, this is a case that is actually in court for a 12-year-old, you know, who, um, whilst he's been doing court for the same reasons, interestingly, mom is away on holiday. Would I comment on it? That's not my point. That's not my case. All that I'm saying is, as parents, while some parents will be going 
happily to drop their children off on the very first day. <laughs> Some of us will be worried because we don't know who our children will be sat in the same classrooms with. We don't know who will be teaching our children. And these are the kind of things that, you know, especially those who have been clued up, those who are allies, those who understand when it is not, oh yeah, here we go again. They would be able to understand the reason why such things need to be talked about. So my heart really goes off to this lady who actually challenged the responsibility of a lady who actually brought their daughter to a match thinking that, yeah, it was the best thing to do. Really embarrassing that you bring your child and let them say something like that. Like really embarrassing you teaching your child racism, teaching your teaching your children racism, teaching your children racism, teaching your child good for you, bring your baby, bring your baby to protest, disgusting. And not too surprising if we are having parents bringing their children to such matches. And nothing is being done about it. You know, the community does not frown upon it. Apart from these such individuals, then we are actually in a situation where our children can feel safe in school. You know, because we don't know the teacher who was actually in the match. We don't know the school worker who was actually in the match. And we don't know the child who was actually in the match. Let me know your thoughts. Whether you think, Nana, this is too overboard. You know, Nana. There is no way children should not feel safe in school. There is no reason why I wouldn't see my children to feel unsafe. I am just going by the fact that if we had children involved in this very, you know, unfortunate situation and yet sat in the same classroom with your son or daughter, you never know. Especially when children may be thinking, you know, I am going for sleepovers. You never know the family that you are exposing your children into. You never know the extreme views held by other people, um, other parents, you know, in as much as it may be, oh yeah, no, no, it shouldn't be, you know, that was of a case. I understand. But the situation is, if I am having children out on the streets, you know, chanting and shouting, should it be a criminal offense? Which, you know, if you ask me my honest opinion, um, yeah, I wouldn't say. But let's look at it in the comment section whether we think children who were involved in those riots should actually be prosecuted, should actually have a de radicalization program. Because the reality is, they definitely claim their country back, they definitely wanting to claim their country back, and in doing so, uh, yeah, they've been on the streets, they definitely damage property. But for me, my worry as a parent is some of these children will be sat in the same classroom with my child with my daughter my son you know with other children that i will be looking after they will be sat in the same classroom with other children that i support and that is my biggest worry because i don't know their safety i am not able to vouch for the safety of these children if we look at the previous clips we are able to know that this is not the first time black children have definitely continued to complain about how they feel they are treated differently in school some blacks and other members of minority groups have involved british movement members and as the aftermath of their london march shows violence often erupts anyway have you seen any serious incidents of violence yeah who was the victim well i don't go on nothing except black ones because I don't like blacks, so they asked me to go on blacks, so I go on the black ones. What sort of weapons are being used? Mostly fists and boots, but sometimes other things get used. Like what? Like whatever's lying on the floor. Big sticks, the hammer's been used, but only once. The violence directed against? Well, 
some of the British movement don't like Jews, some don't like Catholics or Protestants, some of them don't like coloured, so it's uh, checking out of people like eight different types of people. But you think it's an organisation for people who hate other groups of people, basically? Yeah, that's it. And who do you hate particularly? Blacks. You think the British movement enables you to do something about that? Yeah. And they organise it for you as well. You know, you just don't go out and kill someone, batter someone. No, they organise it. Is there evidence there? I would definitely say so. But in instances where children who have been on the street shouting, chanting, you know, such radical views, is there anything going to be done about it? I'm not sure. Would the Ministry of Education do something about it? Well, it's a bit too late because they're going back to school tomorrow. And if that's the case, how prepared are the school? How welcoming is the school? Has the school put out any communication? To welcome children back into school. Are the school acknowledging anything to say, you know what, we are not going to tolerate? And we definitely see it on paper. But in practical terms, knowing that this has happened over the summer, will the school take that extra step in order for them to be able to reassure every child, and I mean every child, to be able to have that safe space where they will be able to learn and actually put out their best? in terms of education so yeah people let me hear your thoughts let me hear your comments whether you think when children are going to school and some children are being told you know yeah see you i'm off going to shopping how do you feel dropping your own children to school do you feel safe enough do you think they will be protected and how do school feel when these children possibly could be targeted and definitely somebody can say Nana you're reading too much into it I understand I respect that but I can only be a black parent once and for me if my children couldn't feel safe during the summer to go places because of you know a national agenda by some people that everybody who doesn't look black oh they wish everybody who doesn't look white needed to be out of the country because they are claiming their jobs, you know, and everything that they claim. The reality is, my children, I need to be looking, you know, I need to be worried about the safety of my own children. I need to be thinking about their own well being. And equally for my own children, how should they feel when they are actually in that space where they are being taught by teachers who likely not look like them? by teachers who may not even address it, by teachers who may possibly want to ignore it because the impact is never on them. I throw the challenge on schools, progressive schools, who are able already to sit down with every child to ask them how their summer went. And if they are told it went okay, not to end it there, but also to have the opportunity where they can create a reflective space for everyone to be able to discuss the implications of having to live their experiences in a time where it is believed that it's an inclusive society. I don't think it's always been the case when it comes to black people, but schools can definitely prove us wrong as parents. You know, schools can demonstrate that they are ready to take that extra step in order for parents to be reassured. Washington issues immigration well, to you. Well, I can't get a job. They, get, they come to this country and they just get a job just like that. So when you apply, what do they say to you? Well, I've got a criminal record. Assault. Assault. Yeah. How long ago? Well, I've been out of prison now three years now. And so you blame immigrants yeah. rather yeah. than your criminal yeah. record? So, this can be a clue to schools. School can put out publications to let parents know that their children will be protected. Schools can, you know, reassure your children that they will be protected when they are in schools. And equally, schools can put out that publication that any young person or any child 
who comes to the school with any kind of you know radical views will definitely be dealt with you know will not be tolerated these are the things that we need to hear as parents and more where it's not just lip service but actually something being done to be able to enable our children whatever their background whatever their race for them to be able to achieve their best educationally anyway people i've done enough walking just like i said i'm off to get my car and uh it's not my fault i need my car for my work so don't definitely jump on this to say that i need to be out of the country because the reality is i ain't got nowhere to go i'm here okay and i'm doing my best to serve no more queen and country i'm doing the best to serve the society anyway people share your thoughts about how you feel about your children seeing children involved in this very sad experience of radicalization and i think it's definitely a form of radicalization but people are not talking about it. and i really tip my hat off that children or young people who were involved maybe willingly or not are actually being brought to light and as a service we all need to be involved in making sure that such children can be identified as vulnerable children and not let loose because that is how you know it starts and unfortunately i'm not surprised where you know we may have such future where people do not understand how to live together in unity anyway people that is the end of my is your commentary my rant or whatever it is but i just want to reassure every child out there you have got the appropriate adult around you within your parents within your family and also within the community we need to make sure we are speaking to our children especially as black parents we need to make sure we have had that conversation with them we cannot just allow them to go to school without having those conversations we need to make sure that they very much understand that nobody comes around to try and bully them to accept the fact that they don't belong they do for whatever reason they are children whatever reasons if you have any challenge that's a problem for adults to deal with for our children they are in school to learn and that's exactly what they are meant to do so yeah i really urge every parent especially black parents to have those conversations with their children about what happened during the summer to make sure that the children feel safe they feel assured that in school nobody's ever gonna come there to cause them abuse or to threaten them to make them feel any different but rather they are there to thrive they are there to achieve and they are there to be good citizens of whichever country that they prefer to belong to the boy said go back to your home country you black bitch white people some are nice some are not nice but today i, I was just offended to be honest the boy said go back to your home country you black bitch which boy is that i can't say we're, we're all equal to be honest hmm. so i don't know why he thinks he, he he's better than everyone wow and that black people are different wow it's unfair right Be, but, mom you probably don't know this but the 1800s black people were slaves hmm i know it's different now but it, like white people are still treating us like what they were ants wow wow it's unfair to be honest hmm especially because that's my home country i wasn't brought up that way hmm. i was brought up to love everyone right okay all i want is love really hmm although he i, I don't even know what's in him i don't know what he was thinking hmm because in my school right. guys i mostly get the blame for anything no matter if someone does something to me first what? all i'm saying is white people need to change and my mom and dad didn't bring me up that way my mom brought me up that way we're all su we're supposed to love all of us each other even if we're not siblings even if we're not friends 
you can't treat someone else because of their skin color. Wow. It's unfair. Hmm. Okay, what if I treated you that way? Hmm. Okay. All I can say is that black people get the worst treatment. Hmm. And I'm sorry again that, you know, someone made you feel like, it's all right. I love you. I love you, Malakai. Someone made you feel like, oh, you're, you're a piece of, you know, mud or something. No, you're not. You have your own family and you're loved by your family. Okay? Just remember that. Anyway, people, that was the end of my video. Like, share, subscribe. And let's hear your thoughts on this particular experience. Anyway, I'll see you in the next video. Let me cross the street before I get run over. People, enjoy. Go. You're playing with fire, that's not what I had planned. It's like giving a kid a car to drive. You got the power to love and thrive. But instead of uniting, you're just dividing. Come on, people, it's time for rising. Love your neighbor, no exception. Doesn't matter. Let's get it right Technology's amazing You really nailed it But don't forget to look into each other's eyes a bit Life's more than a poster or a like on a screen Disconnect a while, go chase a dream Happiness is in the simple things Believe in a hug and a smile and a sunset's gleam True connection doesn't need Wi-Fi Let's do this together before it all says goodbye Love